okay guys, I need to document that. So since three weeks I'm discussing with the manager of the hotel that he has a charger which on it gives 12 amp and it should give more because the charger next to it, which is a GE charger, does 30 amp. So finally, after back and forth, I get the permission to go in there and look at the charger and I'm doing now for myself to get at least 28 amp or 28 to 30 amp on 200, 208 volt to get a real reasonable charge overnight. So the guys, they want to sell him a, a big wire who installed it originally and they installed it wrong, they forgot the dial switch. And I'm going to show you the dial switch there. You have to put it on position 5, that's for the 35 amp breaker. 28 amp output, which is about 20% less. Okay, let me show you how that works. Here is the screw, what you have to remove. Underneath of that charger, it's a torque tip. That's a regular torque tip. So, then that you can turn, twist that lid off. So, you get that lid down. After you get that lid down, there is another, oops, it's already off. It's on the other side. Yeah. This one. This is the lid for that. That lid had six torque 20 screws, and the torque 20 screws um, have a hole in it. And I don't know why they're, they're, there's a torque 20 with a hole. I actually got that tool. So remove them, then you be careful also removing the contacts for the lighting here. And then you can go inside here. So be aware the power needs to be off first, turn the breaker off. So then you can get to that dial. So that dial is over here. And the dial, let me show you that with a screwdriver. The dial needs to be set, which is here. The dial was set to one which is 12 amp and it needs to be set to five and when you read the instruction it's really on here already how to set the dial they are too stupid to put the right dial on when they wire it up there's a 10 awg wire size is up to 30 amp which they installed on the back side here and then they don't even put that right dial on so I'm gonna switch the dial, make sure that you have a 30, 35 amp breaker or the corresponding breaker with the corresponding wiring and then you can switch that dial. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So let me shed some more light to it. Now I twisted the dial and it should be, uh, I get too much, here it is. And now it should be on dial 5. Actually that's a great tool, the screwdriver. It's from Cobalt, from Löwe brand. It's lifetime warranty. And you have all of the heads in here, including the Torque 20 with the hole. And you can put it here on the top. And then you can attach the torques with the hole, six of them here on the top again. The only thing what's not right is there is an empty lid there. And it needs, needs to be taken care of. I just left it open, there's a hole in there. That's not right. I gotta tell them. They are really beginners when they install that unit. And then you install the lid on it, which actually is the same one if you get the signature one, Evis Elon Signature. It's a black lid with that uh, LED strip in here. And then you put the 10 inch, where is it? A 10 inch torque screw on it as well to keep the lid in place. So now let's try it out. So turn that freaking charger on. And it is charging, plugged in. Let's see how much is charging now. Okay, turn this off. Close the door and here we go, charger 28 amp, 
212 volt. Okay, that's the number. That's how we want it. That's the maximum what the charger can do. Yes, you can reduce it if you want. But that's how it's supposed to do. As it's supposed to be. The breaker is 35 amp, 20% less is 28 amp. And the wiring is 10 AWG, which is 5.56 millimeter, which makes it uh, resistant to throughput of 30 amp maximum or 28 amp. Cool. Oh, the wire size is 30 amp. Cool. So hi, this is Wolf from Tesla Owners US and uh, we have our manager here, it's Ariel. That's correct, yes sir. And I went on his nerve for about three weeks to get the charger to uh, a reasonable speed or reasonable power. Finally got it done and I think and it's going great now, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> and I heard that your charger actually got run over. That's correct. One, one <clears throat> or two times, right? Yeah, a couple of times. I think people just kind of go over the bump and... Yeah, go over the bump and then yeah. hit the charger and then run over. That is not nice for the charger. Not very nice. The thing. GE charger they did not get run over yet. But no, no, no. Piece, it was right, right. right. It's, I think it's bigger than the other ones. So. Yeah. So, and uh, yeah, okay. What was the, uh, what the charger was on 12 amp. There was a little dial what you have to turn. Right. You had to open the lid there and a little dial in the instructions. I gave him the instruction telling me exactly what I'm doing. That's correct. So I turned the dial to 28 amp. Mm -hmm. So I checked the wire. It's a 10 wire, wire size, which okay. is made for 30 amp. Right. And the breaker is a 35 amp breaker. So everything is good to go. Sounds and good. And you can tell your installation company, the company, oh, that was not a good service because they don't know how to install charges. That's correct. No, it was great. I appreciate you taking care of us and uh, yeah. a lot of people are going to enjoy that for sure now. Okay, good. Hey, we are glad to be here. We're glad that you guys have for sure. uh, Hampton Inn has chargers, yeah. has uh, chargers for Tesla owners. And that's why I'm staying with you guys. Sounds great. We'd love to have you here with us. Okay. So welcome back to Hampton. Okay, Dallas. good. Okay, Dallas, that was in Dallas at 75 North. That's directly correct. That's uh, correct. close to the highway there. All right. Okay, Come see you see soon. This. Say